There she is. There I am. So we are going to make crab puffs first. These are gluten-free crab puffs. And this has panko or breadcrumbs in it. That's what we're about to be doing. Okay. It's okay like that, right? Yes, it looks good. All right. I'm going to pull up my recipe here. This is um, the recipe can be found on our website on foodtalktv.com. And there is different ways you can do it. Um, I like to switch things up a lot on recipes. So first, what you're going to need to do, I've already made, um, you're going to need a can of real crab meat. Okay. okay, two eight ounces, and this one is a 16 ounce. Don't freak out because it's a can. It is real crab meat. Okay, people? Hi, Ashton. So, and I do it. if you don't have an electric can opener, you're fine. Just use one of these handheld ones. Go like that, and then open it up. And it's fresh. Um, you have to keep it refrigerated. I just got this at my local grocery store at Walmart, at Myers. Now, if you go to Whole Foods, it's really good. Check it out. Crab claw meat. Oh, my God. That's big. Yeah. But we don't want big claw meat. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the bowl. And it just comes out in a lump. See? And then I might have to, mm. so then we're going to use a handheld mixer and shred it all up. Okay. A handheld but, uh, mixer. So is that going to just break it up into tiny, tiny pieces? Is that what yes. you're looking for? Yes. Okay. That is going to break it up in tiny pieces. Everybody tap those screens. I don't see any tapping. Oh. So, Oh, but by the way, anybody who's just scrolling through, this is uh, Gluten Free Mama Ann. Uh, she's a, one of the creators here on Food Talk TV. Please follow the host. Please follow the host. Right now, she's getting ready to make uh, crab puffs. She's using grill crab. Joy says, I just taught my 15 year old daughter how to use uh, that kind of can opener. Okay. Thank you, Ellen. See how it's shredding it, you guys? Yes. It's so much easier than using a fork. I I shred chicken up with the handheld mixer. Everything. Okay. Uh, Kim is asking, what is the name of the crab? Hopefully it's not crusty. I don't know. It's just this. Boss. Crab boss. Crab boss. All right, so I'm going to set this aside for right now because I'm going to put the other ingredients in another bowl as well. So what we need to do is clean off two green onions. Now, you can use fresh chives, herb chives, whatever, but I like adding green onions today. Okay, so we're going to clean this off right over here in my sink real quick because it gets really dirty and you want you don't want to eat dirt and mud and everything, you know? Right. All right. Hello, Sketchy Chef. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Sketchy Chef. So, what I'm going to do... I think we found us a, a, a good new spot to make food. Because this is like centerfold, you know? Good. I can do it this way for now on because it's, look, look how good it is. Okay, I'm going to get rid of that oh, too. Let me see that knife. Okay, let this is a prepology knife. Go back a little bit further so I can, okay, there, wow. What is that? 
I don't know. My mom got it on QVC a long time ago. Also, if there's if you guys end up hearing background noise, sorry, we have a elderly dementia family member. So you you're just her. gonna. Uh, John says good afternoon, Chef. How are you? Or maybe Hi, she's. Hi, John. Fine. I don't know. She's talking to you. She's talking to me. Hi. Hey, John. You can you chop this up in pine pieces. You can chop them up in big chunks. Whatever. You guys, if you're just scrolling through, please follow the host. Uh, hit the little bell so that you'll be notified whenever we go live. Uh, uh, we are going to be going live in a couple weeks, almost every single day. You'll be able to find Food Talk uh, TV on every single day. All right. Where is everybody from? I got 46 people in here. I expect 46 answers, you guys. Texas. Where is everybody from? Texas. All right, so I'm going to throw these in the green bowl. We've got Just Like Granny, who is one of our Food Talk TV hosts. Uh, and that's... Oh, now everybody's going through. Ohio, New Jersey. Ohio. Oh, Oklahoma. Iowa. Rhode Island. We need one egg, you guys. Central okay. Arkansas, Texas, California. It's because we're like. Is that edible? Edible. Edible food cravings. Edible food cravings. Is hey, John. Of... Anybody who's uh, for uh, anybody who's been following us from the beginning, you'll know that. Edible is one, is one of our founders. You need a teaspoon of this, but I do what I want. <laughs> you do what you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it calls for a teaspoon of Old Bay seasonings, but who doesn't love Old Bay seasonings? Jeff wants to uh, tell a joke. He says it's National Joke Day. Oh, yeah? Hey, Mama G, I'm sorry I didn't see you. We want... Um, we want... It says a teaspoon of, of lemon juice. I have fresh lemons, but we're using that for something. But so I'm just gonna use this in it. Okay. Use however much you want. Yes. Because uh, the more flavor, the better. Edible wants to know what you're making. Hi, we're making gluten-free crab puffs first. Okay. So you can use any kind of mayonnaise you want. I usually use Dukes. But we got us some helmets. All right. You know, that's a uh, TikTok sin, right? I know. So <laughs> this is about half a cup of, of gluten-free pan coat breadcrumbs. All right. So now I'm going to mix the mayonnaise. That's interesting. You know, Do you know how usually it has a cover over it? It didn't have a cover over it. Right. But, but I heard it snap. So we use about, my tablet keeps shutting down. Okay. Uh, I got made fun of for measuring my mayonnaise last time. Granny wants to see what's in the, wants to see the bowl, uh, the comments are covering. So we need half a cup of mayonnaise. Half a cup of mayonnaise. About here. Whatever, we're going to do what we want. It's about half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. Don't you think? Yes. Yeah. Uh, but still, the camera needs to tilt down. 
so that we can actually see the food. There we go. Okay. So then we got our egg. We need a teaspoon of Worcester sauce. Wash your sister sauce. Just do little sprinkles. Okay. And then. Edible says, says he's eating anything that has all bay in it. He is or he isn't? He is. Well, that's good. We love it. <laughs> so I'm Granny wants you to put another taste. spoonful. Of, Granny wants you to put another spoonful of uh, uh, mayonnaise in there. But we'll see what we'll see. Okay. <laughs> we'll see what we got to do. So let's mix this up. Sorry if you guys hear background noise. So, uh, for anybody who is new in the audience, uh, Andrea, why don't you uh, tell us about yourself? Well, I am the social media manager for Food Talk TV. I and creator and, and, and a creator. creator. Here we go. I want to add this. Then I I have I have celiac disease. I have a dairy issue. So I make gluten free recipes, celiac safe recipes. On my account, I like to make um, affirmation videos. Okay, so uh, we are getting a giant consensus of you need more mayo. But we're going to see how these uh, how these actually fold up and, and turn into balls. So I used too much mayo for my bats this morning. Okay, ah, and go. they were they they're falling apart. There you go. Trust the process. Trust the process. Trust the process, you guys. Look, you don't want it runny because you're going to wrap it up in balls. There you go. Look at that. It looks good. Harry says hi from Kentucky. Uh, she's making... I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I'm reading some of the comments. Or some of the comments. Uh, she is making crab puffs. I'm making crab puffs. So, that answers like four of the questions. Hi, Mandy. The recipe does not call for you wrap wrapping it in breadcrumbs, but I'm but, doing that. It, okay. it just wants you to put it in spoonfuls and put it on the plate, but we're not doing that. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it in breadcrumbs. All right. Jeffy York wants. To know what do horses say when they fall? I'll read it to you. Oh, I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> Very <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> so, there's your breadcrumbs. All right. This is not Ready? tuna salad, Granny. Stop. <laughs> these, these are these are crab puffs. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it, roll it, and then we're gonna set it on our foil. All right. We're gonna do some of these. We're gonna we can do a bunch of these and talk about um, Food Talk TV. Um. We have a website, and it's called foodtalktv.com. All of our creators are on there. We have a new creator who's um, going to be on there this week. We are already working on her bio. I talked to her last night. And so you'll be seeing um, new videos popping up from her. We have... Um, what else do we have going on on Wednesday, guys? Well, wait. Let's go ahead and um, and talk about 
uh, the creator. Her name is Ashley Poe. Okay. And her channel is Ash B Cooking. Ash B Cooking. Ash and B. We are, yes, we're really excited to to have her on. Yeah. And even more, she's excited to be here. So that's really really awesome. That's, that's really great. awesome. Uh, we have a. Uh, we'll be going uh, live every day next week uh, for our uh, tailgating series, where we're going to be uh, doing dishes every all the not every single creator, but all the creators uh, once a day. We'll be showing uh, great tailgating. Well, uh, Granny Granny just caught on that these this, this is not uh, tuna salad. Really? <laughs> really? And maybe that's the reason why she kept saying more, more mayo. These no, are crab pups, guys. <laughs> There's uh, egg in so. it. <laughs> so we got in our recipe. Yes, we I got said. One, we got one egg, half a cup of mayonnaise. We got some Dijon mustard. We got some Old Bay seasoning. Wash your sister sauce. Um, I use green onions. You can use shallots. You can use red onions. You can do whatever you want. You can use red onions. I've done. I've done it differently. I usually put big chunks of garlic cloves in there, but um, I'm sure the people that I'm making this for today don't want garlic bread. I'm taking these to my neighbors. So someone asking what kind of crab. She used uh, uh, canned crab. Uh, Can the brand name was Boss. Boss. I got it at Myers. They're um, Whole Foods has They're its own brand. Whole Foods here in Kentucky, the can is about $34. Um, so that's for a pound, pound of crab, right? 16 ounces. Okay. So we don't have a really good camera angle. We're seeing only about a two seconds of you doing that. Of the breading. Really? Can we see what's on the pan? Uh, can we see what's on the pan there? Oh, you're almost done there. There we go. That's what that's what I need. We need food. Yeah. You guys tap the screen. If you're just new here, please follow Food Talk TV. We're uh, uh, very soon. We'll be on every day this week. We're on today. We'll be on Wednesday. We'll be on Friday with uh, Sketchy Chef. And Sunday, uh, it'll either be me or October Dragonfly. Can you tell them about Cooking Club? We also have Cooking Club, where you can cook with the creators. Uh, it's on Zoom. It's not on TikTok or YouTube. It's on Zoom. Uh, you go to food, foodtalktv.com to sign up. Uh, we cool. provide the ingredients list and... You buy the, all the ingredients, and we'll teach you how to cook it. Uh, we do it every week on Wednesday nights, uh, 8 o'clock, or I'm sorry, yeah, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, which would be 6, eight, six 5 o'clock uh, Pacific, and uh, uh, 7 o'clock uh, Central. Um. Uh, yes. Yes. Are you okay over there? We don't hear you. Is it free? Can you hear me now? Oh, there you are. Yes. Yes, I hear you. Um, is it is the cooking club free? 
Uh, no, it's uh, it costs uh, four dollars and ninety four nine four dollars and ninety nine cents uh, per month. And not- someone is asking if you're dragging your sleeve uh, through the uh, through the tuna or the tuna, the crab. Who said that? I think it was Ashley. She's asking. No. Oh yeah, look, her sleeve is clean. Yeah, it's you know, not clean. Uh, it's behind and- the bowl. Andrea Andrea cooks for her family every single day. Every day. She is the cook. She uh, lives with her mother and father. Uh, son, and she is the family cook. So, someone is asking, do you bake them? Is that what you're going to do, or are you going to fry them? I'm going to put them in the oven for um, 400 degrees. 400 degrees at, for 20 minutes. They will have a golden brown texture. Uh, not texture, golden brown look. And then the bottom, I'll show you the finished product here in a second. And then the bottom will have um, like a crust. Now, this calls for one egg. The other day, I did two eggs. And I... And I did it without rolling it in breadcrumbs. And yeah. it came out kind of like a, like a, well, I guess like a, it looked like, a, like an egg, an egg puff. Okay. Like a quiche thingy, you know? Oh. Everyone, uh, Ashton, uh, just like Granny, who's who's one of our great creators, is going to be go live going live in an hour after this on her own channel. Nice. Ashton is in Sweden, you guys. Yeah, she's a Georgia girl transplanted to Sweden. Ashton also has um, her own profile on FoodTalkTV.com. So if you want, you can go check her out on there. And some of her recipes are on there. I'm yeah. almost done with this. And then we're going to start the brownies. And I'm going to show you what the finished product looks like. So you just... Hey, Kendrick. Just, thanks, thanks for popping in. Who is it? Kendrick Brown. Why does that name sound familiar? I don't know, but he says that I sound familiar. Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Mm, We're funny. (laughs) Okay, so you're almost done with that, right? I am. This is my last ball. My last ball. And everybody who's just who's just new here, uh, please tap the screen. Uh, follow the host, and the cook today is Gluten Free Mama Ann. Gluten Free Mama Ann. Somehow, I think I was talking to you when I created that name. Wasn't I talking to you, and then I created really? the name? I don't. I don't know. I think, I I think that remember. as far as I've been involved. With them, I got a oh, wait a minute. You're right. You're right. You're right. We were talking because uh, we were talking about you creating your, your food channel. So you're right. Yeah. Because I, I couldn't remember. Because I thought it was, it was me being clever or something and it was just a joke. And then that's what I changed my thing to. Okay. So we have a lot of breadcrumbs left. You can save it. Use them in the meatloaf. Whatever. I made some big ones, some little ones. So my oven, we're gonna put it in for we're not I'm not doing it, but I'll show you the finished product. We're gonna put it in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay. So this is what I did this morning. Now 
check it out. See the bottom? Oh, yeah. Now, nice. the reason why Very it's nice. not, not falling apart is because it's been sitting out for a bit. So if you just get it out of the oven, sometimes it can be very flaky. So we're going to. Yes, let's see what one looks like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Up, oh, you're moving around way too fast. Okay. Yeah, very nice. There's a lot of crab in each one of them. Matter of fact, it's mo mostly crab, isn't it? It's good. Okay. Mm. All right. So, Granny next. says. Granny says she wants. She wants the big one. Guess what kind We're of brownies, brownies you are, Chad? I'll bet those are gluten-free brownies. Gluten. And flour. we made those. You should. You showed us how to make all those um, cooking club, and they were great. The best brownies ever. Yes. So now we're gonna learn how to make them. Okay, you guys, this this recipe is so good. This recipe is. This so is good. just vanilla uh, on the bowl. Made, when we made them on cooking club, uh, and she showed us how to make them. Uh, we were all skeptics because she's the only one who's gluten free. Uh, but you know, on Cooking Club, we always trust the process. It, this was so good. Everybody, everybody was convinced. Everybody was convinced. There's something I have to show so, you on the website um, later. And so, on okay. the website. You go to In the Kitchen, okay? And the website is foodtalktv.com. And so you you scroll down, and right there is my crab puff post. So we're going to click that. All oh, right. you've, already post, you've already posted the recipe? Yeah, we. hey, we're on the ball, okay? So there's our brownies. So you just click it. This is a good idea. And I don't know how to pronounce the D word, but it's flourless brownies. All right. I, I am so proud of you. Why are you proud of me? So Because we're be all supposed to do that. And you did it. No, Frank did it. So what we're going to need for this <laughs> recipe, you guys, 12 tablespoons of unsalted melted butter. So I'm dairy-free, right? Right? So what we do yeah. Is, yeah. is we use dairy-free plant butter. So then we got one and three-fourth cup of graduated sugar, three large eggs, a fourth a tablespoon or teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of vanilla, one and one third. Why do I feel like a filter is on? One and one third cups of un. It is on. One third cups of unsweetened cocoa. Why is there in hands? Hi, boozy, boozy. Hi, oh yeah. Why did it? Who did that? Okay. So what it says, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Check. So we're going to melt our butter in the microwave. So what I got here is just a cup of softened plant butter. Okay. And it's 12 okay. table, tea, tablespoons. And how you can tell on the butter is there's measurements on it, you guys. If you think it auto adds, I don't think so. So I'm going to actually. Uh, I think I think Kat, I think Cat is right because uh, uh, every time I go on, it keeps putting a filter on too, and I don't use filters at all. Oh, let's see. Um, I don't know. I took it off. Okay, so I you're gonna have to turn around. Moving. So 
So I'm going to melt this butter. All right. So then we need um, one and three fourth cup. This is just coca in here. But we need one and three fourth cup of sugar. So. Granny, Granny uh, thinks that I'm lying about use, uh, not using filters. Stop being mean. See? So here's the one cup. <laughs> now I need three fourth cup. Where is the? Oh, I oh, put too much. Hi, Rx. There's supposed to be some people I know in here, but they haven't said anything. All right, so that's three fourths cup. Are... This is just regular sugar. Okay. So then. Okay. My melted butter. You got to mix this up. Okay. And I don't have a whisk. Hold on. Hey, hey, Dad. Can you throw down me a whisk? A whisk. So throw everybody, it at me. welcome to welcome to Food Talk TV. The cook on the screen, or just off the screen, is uh, gluten free Mama Ann. Uh, she just made. She just made. Uh, uh, crab pups, and right now she's going to show us well, one of the best recipes. It's a uh, it's it. a gluten free and dairy dairy free um, uh, uh, brownie mix, and I was not a believer until she showed us how to make this. I, said. I was not a believer. We also <laughs> have in the house. Uh, uh, quite a few Food Talk TV creators. Oh, you gotta mix this you up. Know, you gotta mix this up all the way. Okay. Because that's what it says to do. So tell us about yourself, Andrea. I'm in Kentucky. I have a nine-year-old. I have a dog. Um, I'm adopted. See this consistency? I'm a preacher's yeah, daughter. Kind of, uh... That's the most important thing. Uh, PK? Yeah. Don't say that. I don't like that. I've heard that my whole life. Oh, you can see. Yep. Okay. So then what you want to do is or add your eggs. You have three eggs and you need to add them one at a time. Now, after this, I'm going to make the garlic sauce for the crab puffs because I forgot okay. to do it. Uh, Madeline says Kentucky here too. We're going to add this in one at a time. And that's okay. That's okay. On my lives, on uh, Sunday night, there's at least one thing I forget to make all the time. At least one thing. But at least you remember it. Yeah. I'll get done with my life. I'll get done with my life, turn off the camera, look to my left, and all the ingredients will be a foot away from me. I, um, you guys want to hear something funny about me? Yeah. So the other day I was, I made dinner and it was my messy kitchen as usual. And my dad was like, what are you going to do when I'm gone and I'm not going to clean up the kitchen for you? And I said, I don't know, maybe I'll get married. And he said, 
No one wants you. You're old. <laughs> Great support. Great support. Great support, Dad. <laughs> We're mixing in the second egg. Third egg. There's not going to be any flour in here. Okay. Ew, my chin. Maybe I should put the filter back. Yeah, maybe you should. Yeah, maybe you should. You want me to? No, don't put the filter back on. We don't filter the food on Food Talk TV. Yes, we do. Hi, guys. I'm back. Hi. See how nice consistency this has turned into here. Yes, it was so lumpy. This is, if you're diabetic, don't eat this. You can't use a sugar replacement too? I mean, I don't know. I have to experiment. Because. I think most of the, the sugar replacements are still, uh, for baking, are still half sugar. So. My vanilla. vanilla. I just do this, okay? Who cares? Some salt. Mix that up good. Michael Michael Pasco is asking whether you're making beignets. No, I'm making brownies. You can find the recipe on in the kitchen on the website, foodtalktv.com. Oh, you guys, it smells so good, like vanilla. If you're just scrolling through, please follow the host. You can also find us on Instagram. Uh, you can find us on Pinterest, YouTube. This, as a matter of fact, this live, in case uh, you're coming in at the middle of it and you want to see how she's actually doing this, uh, you'll be able to find this live on uh, YouTube and Facebook tomorrow. Mayo in one cup. All right. And then we're going to need to do a three fourth cup, which I'm going to put it in here because you have to gradually add it in. Oh, so you separate them. Well, I mean, I'm just, it don't matter. I'm just, I'm weird. Leave me alone. So. You can use any kind of coca. Um, I'm using Hershey's. It calls for that expensive kind. The, what's the G word? For cocoa? Ghirardelli? Yeah. Okay. Right, that's a three-four. So we're going to fold it in with spatula okay do you hear my mom oh wait wait uh deb says uh, maybe you're trying to get generic instead of ghirardelli this is her she yes, what... the name brand okay but you had said what's that g word so she was guessing the G word. Oh. See, this is just a three-fourths. So you got to fold this in to a good consistency. Consistency. Can you see it on there? You can see it down there, too. Yes. Yes, we can see it. We can see you, too. You can see me now. Yeah. I mean, it's still a good, it's still a good angle. Yes, it is. I forgot. This is how I used to do cooking club. And then I would take you guys up into the oven with me. What state is everybody yes, in? Everybody tap the screens and share the live. I know a lot of people are at work, so we're not going to get that many people in here. But tap the screens, share the live with 15 people. Share the live 15 people. 
See, it's it's a nice, good consistency. Now I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add that. Dab it some Canada. And then I'm going to keep stirring. Dab so, following, follow us. So a good way if you if you like to eat your brownies warm is you can get um put it in a bowl and put some ice cream in it. See, it, the powder is just shooting out at me everywhere. Because <laughs> yeah. it says to fold it in. So it's going to take a good minute to fold all this in. So it's really rich in chocolate because it's one and three fourth cup of cocoa. It's a lot of chocolate. It's a lot of chocolate. And see, it's kind of turning it, it's kind of kneading into like a dough. Look at yes. See? And you haven't even got all the uh, chocolate in there yet. Right. Fold it in, David. Fold me in. Tuck me in at night. <laughs> Fold me in. Tuck me in at night. Um, so Kaz, what made so, you want to become a food creator? Uh, I heard that if you joined TikTok and became a food creator, you could be a millionaire overnight. Uh, all you had to do was forward your life to 15 people, uh, within the first 10 minutes. And it worked for me. That's why I'm a food creator. Well, I went to Food Creator because of you, I think, wasn't it? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. I switched so, things over. <laughs> so do you want to tell everybody how uh, you and I met? Uh, you were a moderator. You were a moderator extraordinaire. It seemed like you were a moderator every place I went. And uh, uh, Andrea was an extreme, extremely aggressive moderator. Boy, you didn't mess with anybody that she was uh, that she was moderating. Well, the problem yeah. was is we had gorgeous women live and people that weren't very nice. Now check this out, you guys. Okay. There's still some what else is some light. How much? How much sugar did you put in there? One and three fourth cup, I think. No, I used one in. Uh, yeah, one and three fourths. So it looks like um, oh, oh, it looks like uh, they're starting to do the entire shit's creek uh, folded in. Uh, one one line at a time in the comments. <laughs> well, and I would like to see them. Do, I'd like to see them do the entire bit back and forth. So, line up your thing. Hey, it won't stay. It won't stay. So, what I learned from one of our creators named Desiree, you get it wet. Yes. She showed us this in Cooking Club, as a matter of fact. Cooking Club is on Wednesday nights, guys. If you want to cook with the creators, go to foodtalktv.com and sign up. This isn't still not wanting to say. It is not sit and say. You have to, no, you have to really, really uh, and ball it up into a tight ball. And then it'll stay. Tight, 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 tight ball. It doesn't need that much water. It just needs to be uh, uh, tight, tight, tight ball. Say like that. There we go. Okay. This is the hard part for me. Um, I have a bad neck, and so a lot of stuff's too heavy for me. No side comments. So you just thank you, Cindy. <laughs> that was right. You have to really wad it up. 
See, now, when you make this, it calls for it to be 25 minutes. Okay? Okay. Sometimes it'll be in there for 40 minutes. Um, it just depends. And, it, and it's not going to be burned. It, you cook it until it's done. You cook it until you it's cook it done. Until it's done. Yes. And how can you tell it's done? You poke a fork in it. Or a toothpick. But it's still going to be gooey in the inside. So if it comes out like yeah. this, it's not done. If it's just a little bit, it's done. You know? My goodness. Yeah, this is... Uh, I don't know how many times I can say this, this recipe is great. I made it for... I can't Thank say... Thank you him. for sharing the live, Joette. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll say this because I know that person is not watching. I made it the other day and I gave it to somebody. And I didn't have any... Vanilla, so I had almond oil, and that person didn't really care for it. It was weird. It didn't have flour in it. I shouldn't have even told the person it didn't have flour in it. Oh, that's the problem. Don't tell people. Don't tell people. But I'm sure because this they, person ate the whole they thing. They get a bias in their head. Yeah, that you was think, just... You think they didn't like it? I know they're not going to see this, so it's like, what? Oh. Uh, Sketchy Chef says that uh, that when it's done, you can smell it. You don't have to test it. If you can smell it, then it's done. No. Not this. Okay, so uh, Cindy... Uh, Cindy wants to know what you what you've made and what you're making. She joined late. So I'm making flourless brownies, and I'm smoothing it out in this pan. It's so interesting how different the texture is every single time. But it looks like you're and, smoothing out fudge. And what have you made already? I made crab puffs. I'll show you that here in a second. Okay. Check it out, guys. So you just took that dough and just kind of spread it out. It, it doesn't naturally fall. It doesn't. Because it's very thick. Very thick. So here's the final product. This took... 35 minutes. No, you don't use any milk. Yeah. And you just lift it out, set it on the thing, cut it up. Okay. So. Are we going to taste taste any of this? No. Those crap are the crap puffs. puffs. And let's see the finished product on that. Yes, she. Yes, she did take the butter out, and she added it to her her brownie. Uh, actually, that's right. Uh, yes, Time for she the did do that. A homemade garlic sauce for the crab puffs. The crab puffs. Okay. So let's go back to our website. So to find our website, you need to go on your tablet, your phone, your computer. FoodTalkTV.com. Really easy. You click on the website. I mean, this is good advertising, you know. You click on the website. And then this will pop up. FoodTalkTV. And then yes, that's our website. you click these little bars. And then you click in the kitchen. In the kitchen is our blog. And you click, mine's the first one on there for today. Okay. Those are the crab puffs. Mm, Y'all. Yeah. So now we're going to scroll down to the recipe. For the original recipe. And 
We're going to look at the sauce. So what we need is a cup of mayonnaise, Dijon, garlic, lemon juice, and salt. So sure. what I'm going to use is going to cut this. So um, well, I'll be darned. I'm going to have to use this. I didn't think clearly to get another knife. I'll do this. That's okay. This is the last thing you're doing with that knife anyway, yeah. right? I'm going to use a whole lemon because it has to be wonderful flavors. And then you can get the seeds out. I'm going to scoop them out with a spoon here in a second. Okay. So, uh, on the... Oh, thank you, Laurie. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for coming in. Bye, Lori. I'm just gonna scoop it out. Let's see. Tammy, hot. Yeah, Tammy here. Thank you for joining. Stephen Benson, one seventy-seven. Thank you for joining. Yeah, I do have measuring spoons, you guys. And just for everyone, everyone who's in here is when this live is over, uh, just like Granny will be going live on her channel. You want some Dijon? Great... Some salt. You... Andy, we're doing great today. You can use fresh garlic. That's what I usually use. But we're doing paste. Because it will take me 20 minutes to peel garlic on here. And I forgot to buy garlic. Alright. A lot of garlic, yeah. huh? I use... Well, this is a garlic sauce, right? Right. You can smell yeah, garlic. So. This is like... This, you can get it where your herbs are. My Oh, my nails where your herbs are. It's just garlic paste. And it's just garlic. Yeah. It's just garlic, yes. Yeah. Okay, so you've got lemon and you have garlic. And we did we put salt in it? I think we did. We and did we not. put we put Dijon in it. Oh yes. We put uh Dijon in it. And this recipe, just like all the recipes that she's doing today, is already on our website, foodtalktv.com. Now, you can add parsley in here if you want. Um, I think I might have some. What do we got? We're going to add parsley. Um, that's basil. I mean, you could add, we could add some basil. Should we add some basil, Cas? Sure, it'll give it a little color, a little pop of color. This is dried basil from Lighthouse. I got mayonnaise on my finger. This is, that's you know. uh the free. That's the freeze dried basil, right? Yeah. Yes. I like between dried, dried like and freeze dried. Is that the freeze dried uh, herbs come to life instantly? I bet that smells great. Mm -hmm. Now a little bit more Dijon in there. Now what you do too is you can cut up some lemon wedges. And then you, um, you take a bite. Put your sauce on here. And then you'll, you know, squirt your lemon on it. And then you eat it. Perfect. It's different because it's not garlic, fresh garlic, but it's still good. It's still good. And we made it to our hour mark. Yes, so, Mr. Gus, we did. So, this With is a, 8, 000, 8, 000 a garlic sauce. 
just use mayonnaise, Dijon, lemon, basil, salt, um, yeah, garlic. Okay. With the so everybody, if you if you please visit foodtalktv.com, we have a calendar that shows uh, when everybody's going to be going live. Um, it's under the events. Uh, all the recipes that you saw today are already up on the In the Kitchen blog, which is uh, which is at foodtalktv.com. And that pretty face is Andrea. She is gluten. See how the texture is? My hands are wet. But see how the texture is? I'm yes. getting off just in time. Physical therapist is here. Okay. That's her uh, her crap pups. Yes. I think there still is a filter on there because it's smoothing. <laughs> I know. I look really washed out. But Okay. And Thank then you, we'll show you the brownies. Let's see what else we got. <clears throat> you guys have got to try this recipe. I can tell oh. you. I can tell you, we did the brownie recipe on Crippin Club. Everybody said, why do we use flour in brownies? If you taste this, you'll just wonder why it was ever there. I believe... See, Desiree made a video of it, and then I, I do edit it, laughing at her. And then I believe she made those in a live or made her own video or yes. something. But, so, yeah. Granny, Granny says great live. Uh, <laughs> Granny will be live after her. Right. What are you making tonight? Matter of fact, uh, uh, Des, uh, Ashton, can you come on really quick and promote your live? Lasagna. Hey. Hi, Ashton. This is this is perfect. I didn't know that you were going live right afterwards. So this is. Perfect this is pretty cool, play. actually. This would be a good piggyback. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm making lasagna for... So, tell us what, uh, you're, what you're doing. I'm going to make lasagna for dinner. The kids asked me to make lasagna because they heard me talking about lasagna the other night. And then they asked me to make lasagna. Where did I get the brownie recipe online? When I became gluten free, I was freaking out and I wanted chocolate because women want chocolate during certain times of the month. And so I looked it up and I found it and I'd made it. And then when my friend, when she went gluten free, cause she has celiac, we went to high school together and she's a pastry chef in Chicago. And I gave her that recipe and she makes it at her shop. Also, uh, when when someone asks you where can you get the, or where where can you get it or where did you get it, you can tell them that they can get it at foodtalktv.com. TV. Com. Yeah, <laughs> that's where they can find it at foodtalktv.com. Okay, are we done? We are done. I gotta go because it's about to get loud in here. All right. Also. How? Go on, Ashton. I said you did great, sweetie. Thank you. You like my shirt? You like my sleeves? Yeah, it's got crab all over your right sleeve. No, I don't. She's lying. <laughs> She's cheating. There's like one little spot. <laughs> um, I got to clean up my mess. How long before you go live? How long before you go live? About two minutes. 20 okay. minutes. All right. So at 120 20 Eastern time. All right. I got chocolate on me. You guys like my bracelet. All right. I yeah. got to go. Bye.
Bye, guys. Love you. Thank you, Andy.